I get a little excited and passionate and feisty during this one because I wish that somebody or I had found an article, a vlog of somebody telling me this before this happened to me because it is horrible. I am extremely passionate, energetic, excited about what I do. And working with people that are not passionate, excited, energetic about what they do is emotionally taxing. So I don't do it and neither should you. So you're sitting at a meeting with a potential client and you just get this like feeling. Maybe they said something that just kind of was off-putting or I don't know, you just have an innate feeling that mm, this is not good, but you're broke. They're willing to give you money and, and you, you're struggling, you're bootstrapped, you're like all about it. So you suck it up and you do it. I'm here to tell you that this is what always happens when you forego those feelings and you work with somebody you don't particularly like. They will be that client that completely ignores your advice even though they hired you because they don't know how to do what you're doing. They ignore your advice and then when it doesn't work, they complain about it. Further, they complain about it and tell all of their friends how it didn't work or they didn't get the results that they wanted. And they fail to mention that they did not follow your advice and that they micromanaged you the entire time. Which brings me to the second one, the client that micromanages everything. They take up every bit of your energy, every bit of knowledge, every bit of time that you have and then when it's invoice time, crickets. They're always late, which is fine, but it breeds resentment and you get resentful. And that's just not a good feeling to have in, as a person, but let alone a business owner, because it kind of makes you feel yucky about what you do and you don't look forward to the meetings. You don't look forward to going to work that day. So they will always be either one of those. And then in the very worst case scenario, they will be both. So this is what I do to avoid having those clients ever again. Ask yourself, will they listen to me? Will they follow my advice? Am I excited to work with them? And last but certainly not least, do I like them? Do I like the person that they are? Because I will tell you, you will never have a good deal with a bad person, ever. I only do business with nice people. And you're gonna tell me, but my bills, I'm broke. I have had 25 cents in my bank account and still said no to a client because there is no amount of money that is worth feeling that feeling of resentment and also disappointed in yourself for taking the client that you knew you shouldn't have taken and you're not gonna do a good job for them. There's, you're just, you possibly cannot give them all of yourself because you're not happy and you aren't your creative self, you aren't in the zone and you aren't in your flow. So you're really doing a disservice to both of you. I'm begging you, pick and choose who you work with based on that gut feeling and those couple questions that you ask yourself. You can have your own criteria, but make sure you're always staying true to yourself because I promise you, if you love the people that you're working with and you spend all that time and energy on them, you will give them your best work. And when you're choosy, other people see that and they want to work with you more. You will, you may have to fire a few clients, but you will fill those spots with people that, that you really like working with that are willing to pay you the money. It's crazy how it happens. You would think turning people away and saying no to people would hurt you, but really in the end, you're giving your best self. And the most important thing is that you're trusting your gut. So we want to know if you've ever had an experience where a, a month into it, you're like, I should have not taken that client. Tell me why you did. And tell me about the experience. We want to hear all about it. You can leave it in the comments below, or you can write it on our Facebook wall at facebook.com slash freddarlingstudio. Tweet us at underscore freddarling. And then also sign up for our newsletter on our website at freddarling.com. And it's under this blog post, put your email in and we will, we want to connect. So I'll tell you my stories. You tell me your stories. It's one-on-one, -on -one, it's email, it's more personal. And I'm really excited to hear from you. So thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.